All right, folks, welcome back to the Marshall Football Walk-On Dynasty. We are in year two, taking on Georgia State. They are a C-plus in every category, so they are actually worse than South Alabama. I think we got a good shot at winning this one if we don't self-destruct. And we did, like, a little bit of a look at our recruiting last episode, so, you know, if you want to see the nerds that were into the team, there's there's that for you. There are 79 overall. I got short-term amnesia, so I do not remember what South Alabama was. I'm going back to the Memphis offense. I used that two games ago, and I really liked it. Man, they got some dogs on this team. I just realized how big this stadium is. Wow, Center Park Credit Union Stadium? That's a mouthful. Jeez Louise. I believe their quarterback last year was Cornelius, and we're not playing against him. We were playing against Kirsten Harvey. A man named Kirsten. I've never seen that, and it's making me sick. Actually, was it this quarterback? I can't remember. They're all the same overall. Oh my goodness. That was completely off target. A great way to start the game from Lauren Davis. Wow, that was... I'm going to be sick. I just got done talking about how bad their cornerbacks are. Scotty Watkins, good tackle. We got some pressure, but they're going to get the first down. Third down conversion, Sam Pickney. And we're going to get a sack. He was just trying some fancy, dancy moves in the pocket there. And uh, Travis Martin gets him. Good play, Travis. I don't know what the heck that was. That was just completely brain dead there, but I'll take it. We get a stop for a field goal. Defense, good job, guys. Carlos Jackson, great catch because Lauren Davis has been off. All his throws have been a little bit... Where the, not where they should be. Vince Randall, like I said, if he's not involved, you're not having a good day. Wilson just has a huge lane and then just does some weird move there. Oh, we got nothing going. Just going to have to take off here. Dom Wilson again just... Puts his head down. It's like he's heading towards, you know, a big pot of chili or something out there. He can just sense it, and he's just got an animal instinct there. It's one of the great things in life. You know, food is the uh, number one motivator here. I love this Memphis playbook. I can't say how many times, and now I just get sacked and thrown down like yesterday's trash. Well, I guess we'll take the three here. I don't even want to bother showing you the play we just ran because... Uh, it was embarrassing, and I don't want it to ever disgrace the internet with his presence, so... 3-3, three to three, not what we want. We could be doing a lot better right now. That was... I was all over that. I saw it coming. Never try that again, you scrub. Here we go with the EA cheese. <sighs> I'm just running whatever the heck this Wildcat is. Um, it's called Fight Song. Uh, Vince Randall, please turn around. Oh, wow, he just took a little dance there, looking like Booker T or something. Randall again. That was a sketchy throw by me. I should not have done that, but it worked out. Good run in there. He loved that two-back formation. It worked out swimmingly. Vince Randall, I'll just abuse him all game. He is a weapon of mass destruction. And we hit the tight end, but he is not Vince Randall. He drops it. I had that clearing, but I missed it. That was a good play. They know what we're doing. I had him open, but that safety hit him just in time. We keep dropping passes. I understand we're getting hit. And Rodgers... Robert Rogers hasn't been involved too much, but when he does show up, it's big time. Ooh, that improvisation there was gorgeous. It's rolling to your left. This guy is a 65 overall quarterback. That is some high IQ crap right there, because we had nobody open. Just, ah, uh, I'm in shock. 
Going with the screenplay, can I stop it? Yes. Mr. Williams, user TFL, I am not totally crap at usering. That was a little cheap. That was, that was, you know, ah, whatever. I will say one of the big problems with our defense is we're just not making enough big plays. And, uh, okay, as soon as I say that, Sh Sean Bailey shows up right when we needed him the most. This man is like, I don't know, it's like he's like Jesus Christ on the cross. He just is doing everything in his power to help this team out. Third and one, what do we got? They hand it off and we get obliterated. Love to see it. We got him off his mark, but we can't tackle. Come on, guys, that should have been a sack. They're going with a screen. It's not... That should have been an interception. What's the flag? Scotty Watkins with the pass deflection. What is... It's going to be offensive pass interference. We're going to go ahead and decline that one. But Scotty Watkins with a nice deflection. I would have loved that to be an interception, but uh, it's understandable. Holding them to three. They were looking like they were going to take charge and take a seven-point lead, so... We'll take what we can get at this point. I'd love to get uh, Jampy more involved in the crown game, but I feel like they've kind of been stifling us a little bit. I'm trying to limit his time right now. And then they're just not letting me run this read option, which is understandable. Good scouting by their defense, but uh, that should not have worked. He was not open, but the corner had no awareness. Robert Rogers. That was a prayer because our other slant wasn't open either. Yeah, the run defense is just real stingy. I can't really get much going. Fourth and six, I'm going for it just because I'm pissed off and irritated that their defense has played so good. So we're going to go ahead and go for it here. If we don't get it, it's not the end of uh, all humanity. Um, thank you for that throw. I know it's my backup, but jeez Louise, what are we doing out here? Clean pocket? Come on, with that wobbler? No help out there. That is Jamari Thrash. He's a pretty good player IRL, too. Yeah, that's about right. Tucker Gregg. Talk about... This guy must have grew up on a farm or something, because... I mean, what? What? Yeah, I'm cheating a little bit. What of it? I don't care. I'll do what I want sometimes because their defense has been irritating me. So we're going five wide and just, uh, and we'll just do some weird things here. This play kind of sucks. Yeah, this is, this is awful. Champy, good catch out of the backfield. Oh my goodness, now I'm just being stupid. I didn't see that linebacker lurking there. Well, I saw him, but I didn't think he had any kind of awareness. Jamari Thrash wide open. We cannot let a touchdown up. They're going to luckily be held, I think, to a field goal. All right, 23-10, head into half. Um, I'm not happy. Good tackle by Alex Neal, the walk-on user TFL. He just ran into us, and uh, big mistake. Going with another receiver screen there. It's just working out for him today. It's just everything they do is the correct thing, and everything we do is uh, horrifically wrong. So it's not much we can really do out here. I'm blaming, uh, I don't know, the devil or something. Somebody's uh, definitely put a spell on us because um, I'm not taking any responsibility for why we're playing bad and the players shouldn't either. We need to just find someone to blame. Uh, yeah. Because I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't about it. Got us on that outside run. That's the one thing we can never defend. Even if we call a play that gets an outside blitz, we just get pancaked, can't get off the blocks. It's unfortunate, but we're getting dog-walked right out of the stadium. And, you know, it's interesting because we've... we've sh we, I don't really know what our identity is because we've shown that we have the ability to bomb the ball, throw for 500 yards. An overthrow by Seth Jones. It's unfortunate, man. We can't can't do anything right. You know, we get guys open, can't hit it. Um, 
That's got to be a good route by Randall, and it is. I can't even get excited. I'm just so down by with how bad we're playing. It's that, and then my crappiness, and then the fate of the universe just deciding we, we have to lose this game. I, I don't know. Gonna go ahead and give the triple option a shot, I guess. Um, it's gonna sort of work. We get close enough. We'll go ahead and go for it, though. And they're gonna give it to us. I don't think we even got it, if I'm being honest. We're gonna try our triple quarter pounder special with Dom Wilson here, see if it works out. We're gonna get some movement, and Wilson just runs right in, falls down, trips over something out there. Uh, he doesn't really got good balance, but now he's just entered the matrix or something. Yeah, see, the bad thing is with our roster, we're not really equipped to... That should be an interception, Hopkins. You are a star corner, dude. But like I was saying, we're not built to come back from, you know, three possessions of a deficit. It's not really our style. I'm going to try to get out here. I'd whiff on it, dive way too early. Come on, a defensive end getting wrecked by a running back like that and one who's not even that good and his name's Tucker Gregg. Sorry if I sound salty. It's just, oh, I'm just in a salty mood. I don't know. It's just everything's irritating me. You know, I mean, that's kind of like regular life, but and here we go again. Here we freaking go. Good tackle by Watkins, but that's the benefits of uh, zone coverage for you. That's why I hate running this shit. And I look at that garbage by EA. You, this is when you can tell EA is on one. I mean, look from, look from where he threw this ball. Look at this. Look at this garbage. He gets it out. That's 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 EA. That's that's exactly when you can tell EA is on some bull. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, I can't tackle worth a crap today. That's, I'm just diving. I think I'm just so irritated by our performance that I'm just diving. This dude just broke some guy named Marcus Caffey's record. Okay. Champy with a great route. Out there playing some good receiving. Vince Randall is the king of those routes. Third and three. Skinner is open. Good first down. Carlos Jackson. That was too easy with the blitz incoming. I just got nothing. There might have been somebody open, but I didn't see it. Trying to see if there was really anybody open. That back of the end zone was... I guess... You could say maybe I could get it to Carlos Jackson over here, but I guarantee you I throw this pass. What's going to happen? Number five is going to lurk that shit. That's that Heisman cheese. EA's playing games today. So I, I, there's no way I could have trusted that. Yeah, they're pretty much just running it down our throats. If anything interesting happens on this drive, I'll, you know, I'll bring you guys in, but it's just going to be a bunch of this garbage. So you don't really probably want to see them just obliterate us, but, uh, We'll see. Good tackle by Scotty Watkins there. We actually got a stop. Uh, it's been a while. Okay, they'll give credit to Alex Neal. I guess that's fair. I do like him too. He's a solid player. So we'll go ahead and accumulate some uh, garbage time stats. Um, if that safety is going to cheat up like that, we might as well just take advantage of it. And uh, it's hold work. We'll get a good gain. I know this is all garbage time, but at least we'll get some bonus points and... Nick Vincent, good catch, buddy. Good throw, and he drops it. He got nailed. That was such a long developing play. Good throw to Skinner, the tight end. We ran out of time. Almost scored some points there. It would have been a, a pity party points, but all right. Yeah, the running back had 200 rushing yards. 
It's our big bugaboo right now. Stats, Lauren Davis, 20 for 31, almost 300 yards, a passing touchdown, three interceptions. Two of those were probably my fault. The one was just him being awful, but we all sucked ass today. Let's call a spade a spade. He had 61 rushing yards. Really, we couldn't get anything going on the ground. Jampy had a four average day. And Don Wilson did good in his limited time, 3 for 25 for a touchdown. Receiving-wise, Vince Randall, almost 100 yards, 97. Carlos Jackson with 62 and a touchdown. And everyone else chipping in. Jambi had a good day out of the backfield. Tackle leaders, we had three of them. Pat Williams, Gary Young, and Marcus Hopkins. TFL-wise, Alex Neal. This is one of my favorite of our walk-ons. Got bullied last year, but two TFLs. Williams got one, Travis Martin got a sack, and Sean Bailey also had a sack. And Scotty Watkins with our lone pass deflection. All right, quickly, we'll go through our recruits. This is a good time. Rayshon Lewis from Cynthia, Kentucky, two-star prospect. His evil twin brother plays for Washington. He's uh, not a good person. We just try to uh, not say his name as much as possible. But here's a look at his stats. He's a pretty solid player. Um, not a world killer by any means, but I think he'll really grow into the position, especially being next to Scotty Watkins. Him, Those two are going to make a really good team, I think. Donald Harvey, a very small dude. He really needs to hit the weight room, but he's from Jefferson, Louisiana. The coverage is a little bit lacking, but the 76 zone coverage ain't bad. He'll definitely be part of the rotation because we got quite a few corners coming in. And Jerry Turner, the Juco, I'm hoping he's a Juco sophomore so we can get him for three years. Two stars from Adela, Alabama. Incredible. I've showed you guys his stats uh, last episode, so he's fast as hell. Can be a quarterback. I'm thinking that he's going to be a corner just because his man and zone and press is so good. Um, but we definitely might, I think, be allowed to mix him in on offense here and there. So that's going to do it for whatever that team was we just played. We got Arkansas State up next. Wow, they really are kind of got a decent team. I feel like they were terrible last year, but they got a B-. minus. I'm not looking forward to this game, if I'm going to be honest. Here's a bit of what they've done. They've lost the last three games straight. Scotty Watkins leading us in tackles. Definitely don't want the safety having that many tackles, but we're not doing too shabby. Not great, but not bad. But that is going to go ahead and do it for this episode. I'm disappointed in the loss, but we didn't completely get obliterated. We did not get humiliated. It wasn't a close game, but it wasn't so out of reach that they were a lot better than us. So everybody have a good day. Try not to think about the grim reality of life. And uh, yeah, goodbye.